Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's quickly learn how to transfer good execution plan from one server to another in the session. Suppose you have two servers with the same databases. You are running the same storage procedure in the two servers. However, the performance of storage procedure is high in first server for the same database while it is low in the second server. There are many reasons behind this difference, like SQL Server version, the server configuration differences, and etc. However, you are facing high business impact and you don't have time to investigate these differences for now, okay? And you want to quickly implement execution plan of the first server to the second one, so that the second server also uses the same execution plan and finishes fast. In this session, I'll show you how to do this. I have these two servers, server 4 and server 5. I have this AdventureWorks 2019 database. Suppose when I run this storage procedure, it is running fast in SQL VM4, but it is slow in SQL VM5 for the same database. Everything is the same in, the, in this database, okay? Like statistics, etc. Only server is different, and execution plan is also different, interestingly. So I decided to apply this first fast execution plan in SQL VM4 to SQL VM5. For this, I first run storage procedure in SQL VM4 and get XML execution plan. Also, I get query of the storage procedure. You should get the part begin and end in storage procedure, which is the actual query part. Then I go to the destination server where we are going to apply the plan and run this create plan guide storage procedure. For the statement part, I paste the query we got from storage procedure, right? And for module and batch, you should paste storage procedure name. You should also paste like DBO or any other any other uh, schema name. It is better, okay? Then we go to hints and paste execution plan here between quotation marks. Please be careful. You should not delete any quotation mark. This quotation mark is not double quotation mark, but single quotation marks repeated four times. You should insert XML execution plan here like this. Often you face this kind of syntax error. In this case, you should just increase single quotation marks to four like this. Oh, by the way, you should not set no account on here. You should just delete it, okay? Then we create. After creating, you can check whether the plan guide is being implemented by looking at plan guide name property. As you can see, plan guide has been successfully being implemented. Whenever I run the storage procedure with even different parameters, I mean parameter values, this plan guide will be used. We looked at the standalone server case. Let's also look at the availability group cluster case where you have primary and readable secondary. In the primary, the storage procedure is running fast, while the same storage procedure for the same database is running slow in the secondary. This is not often observed, okay, but I have seen these kind of cases. Let's learn how to apply the execution plan here also. Compared to standalone case, here you cannot run any change in readable secondary because this is only readable, right? Therefore, we apply the change in primary. As this change is in the database level, this change is synced to secondary afterwards. Let me show you. I have this primary server and secondary AG servers. This storage procedure is running fine in primary. Let's apply the same plan in replicas. 
first, we will define plan handle by using this query. If you run this query twice, this select query is also selected. Therefore, you can just go to the right side and know which one is being target SQL handle. In, in this case, it is the first query, right? You can see offset 844. I insert this value to the query. Then I run this create plan guide from handle storage procedure by inserting just our custom name. You don't need to change anything. After creating, you can check whether the plan guide has been created by using this query. You can see this guide has been created. Let's go to secondary and check whether this plan has been synced. You can see the plan has also been created in secondary. Let's try to run the same sort procedure. You can see here that the same plan guide is being used. That's all. If you found this video useful, do not forget to like it and subscribe for more interesting sessions on SQL Server. Thank you.